my review of the new walking dead monster the only one that's free to play that's not impossible to get by like one percent chance breeding as far as i know miss shown so she's a fire monster miss shown is a deadly warrior with a keen intellect she joined rick in this strange new world through a portal and now the pair fight side by side as monsters against overwhelming odds all right pretty cool lore this is her finisher Catcha katana is that what it said katana catch all right it's heavy fire damage to all enemies applies bleed and burn and one extra turn so i'll say it right now she is pretty much another shivakura oh and of course the design like the move designs were going to be tight this is a crossover so yeah, she's basically a pretty overpowered version of shivakura but she can't hold the spear of destiny so she's not as usable but let's just look at her trait which is pretty great and almost identically mirrors shivs so first you got survivor the trait that all walking dead um crossovers have it gives you a um it gives you undead hater which i think in includes most of the demons uh, gahi zol and Miramotis are the only good undead monsters that i've that i've remembered from a while that's been released maybe there's newer better ones but you know i don't think it's not too great of a trait on its own but you still see a lot of mere modus because people just still use him so this is really nice to have and it gives you hardened and immunity to fear so the harden basically covers not having the status like you don't need bulwark on any of these monsters that'd be a wasted trait because survivor has a hardened so that's pretty good and then immune to fear i will say it's annoying whenever i fight that chrono bite guy and he gives you fear and now people like teddy bomb can give you fear but honestly it's the most niche um, immunity i've ever seen as of right now because fear is brand new and almost i think only one monster uses the mechanic no maybe two maybe two but that's it uh it'll probably get more valuable over time rank three immunity today's i really don't know who thought this was an appealing like gimmick to put on a walking dead monster like yeah she's gonna be immune to days because that is something that gets hit on dodge area monsters all the time it's kind of like a throwaway trait i completely skipped over trait one dodge area this is her, like her biggest value immediately like this jumps out to the eye because any dodge area monster is probably guaranteed to be at least good and this one is op like an updated shiv akura without the great talents but still good talents so you can plop her in, in any taunt team. And even if you don't have a taunt monster, this protects her from any AoEs, you know? So that's an immunity in its own. Rank four. Rank four and five. I always say this about OP monsters. Unless they're bounty hunt monsters who have like status caster peers for rank five, which I hate. These two are usually just pointless status casters that are nice at best and awful at worst. So you're immune to cooldown. Um you know if you have dodge area more than more likely than not no one was going to hit cooldown on you because you know you have a taunt monster and even by the time that taunt monster gets killed your immunities run out and then status caster number five is bleed i do like it since bleed hater is a thing that you see a lot so maybe you can use her for like the synergy and it's nice to just have a dot at the start of the battle maybe it helps you eat away at an opponent with too much health and yeah that's about it for her trait and lore. Let's check out her moves. Now, I will say, we're only going to be able to see her rank 1 moves as all of these uh, Walking Dead crossovers have rank up exclusive moves. That is, I believe that. I think. I'd love to be proven wrong, but I feel like I know for a fact. Yep, look at this. And it's really hard to get these monsters. You have to pay a lot to get these monsters to these high ranks. So it's kind of a scam, but I think that they're going to have like a, I, yeah, they keep, re they're only releasing her cells in this dungeon. So I think there's going to be, if you do all of them, you're going to have enough to get her to 120, which for the OP people, they're going to have to pay more to get her higher. But for me and for any beginners watching this, it's not that bad. So first is me versus all. Deals mo it's a moderate file fire aoe with burn 40 stamina two turn cooldown there's quiet execution 
is a heart fire zero stamina zero cooldown maybe you run it let's see what the rest of her moves are um there's pet on chains a one turn evasion this is pretty appetizing but just like the former shiv even if you did run the evasion move and that one even had a hater and people still didn't use it it's it's hard to sell because dodge area is really the only protection you want in your um dodge area monsters unless they're like slumster who are dodge area and support and then sneaky steps applies dodge area to itself this would be kind of great if she wasn't like a dodge area trait monster now since you might be a while before you can get her to rank one since i gotta wait actually no in two days the third dungeon releases so by the time you see this you'll be able to get her at rank one so yeah not worth it at all so i'd replace it with clean cut it is a moderate physical damage to one enemy applies bleed to one enemy one extra turn so it's just a she's got a lot of extra turns it's really good um but looks like only two of them are up here and she has two up here the second extra turn you'll find down here is quick stab i like that they're both physical it is even rarer to see physical attacks than it is to see like special so two physical attacks that let's count that damage it looks about 30 30 so they're the same amount of damage except one has a dot one doesn't and this one is a higher cooldown and a lot more stamina or not a lot but you know they're basically the same move but one has a dot so you have an aoe two extra turn moves and then the last one you want to do um yeah i don't i don't know because you have the two support moves that like zero stamina zero cooldown one cooldown 30 stamina they're pretty spammable but you don't really need it and i get that at rank one maybe that's the only time you think you need it since you don't have dodge area but even then i feel like it's just such a throwaway to put on her so i'm just gonna do quiet execution you could do this one for bleed you definitely want another fire attack so that you know if you're fighting another dodge area monster maybe slumster he comes to mind you have a fire attack and you don't just rely on it um physical although she has um fire attacks nature and physical which i really like so yeah you're gonna want to run the zero stamina zero cooldown one at least not rank one i can't wait to review higher level michonne so yeah gonna feed her up to about uh let's go 75 yeah and her design it's i don't know it's like just a rat with weapons it looks way too human which i think i love avoiding in this game so i'll give you for sure a level five obviously i'll get these higher if i do manage to get her at higher rank i would do two strength runes but i'm just gonna wait because the maze is in a little bit and then the runes will be less expensive she has a double sword which kills me because then you can't rely on regaining stamina you can rely on a lot of extra damage and healing with cane sword but you know i don't have any good relics and i don't want to waste it on her so i'm just gonna have her no relics and let's take her out to adventure map to kind of display what she can do so let's see what is the ideal team with her the ideal team is going to be a taunt monster i know she doesn't have her dodge area at rank one but i just want to showcase it as if she did so you want a taunt monster oh she's not all the way up i was looking for her. we want michonne herself and maybe we want a support monster um i think we're gonna go with maybe someone who can give stamina regen so i'm just gonna go Amania. and let's do this so we do the double damage i just wanted a support monster who could do stamina regen since she's gonna waste quite a bit of it her stamina costs are decently high so look at this with the double damage oh he's undead look at that undead hater in the survivor trait actually comes in handy so i'm not gonna waste this double damage move on him since anything i do will kill him with the undead hater so look at this you're fighting a fire monster and usually you'd have a nature attack too but right now at least you have your physical so first you go quick stab and you regain that you put on bleed and then you could just do the aoe or you can do the little tap 
always great to have an AoE because I guarantee you, you will run into times where, like, you run out of stamina. No, not AoE. It's always good to have the zero stamina, zero cooldown move. Even if I think she can even, like, cycle into her, um, back into her AoE with her extra turns. We'll see. Like, look, I can do another quick stab. And then I gotta wait another turn. And look at that. This move will always be on the table. So, I know a lot of scenarios that I have when I'm fighting is like at the end of the battle right it's a 1v1 and you'll be running low on stamina and then it'll be just whoever can kill the other first and you run out of stamina or your cooldowns are activated on all your moves because the good monsters always have high cooldowns and then boom you're kind of screwed lucky she has a decent zero stamina zero cooldown and they just released grind a nature monster with pierce so that burn is going to be ever so slightly more valuable and want to reapply that stamina regen that's really all she needs she has better extra turn moves that complement this like way better at a higher rank but for now i'm just working with what i have so her damage output is low but at least she can cycle um let me see how much she can cycle because i believe it's 60 with just these two moves and then if i throw on the fire at the end it's 30 30 35 so that is 95 cycle damage and i don't even know how high it is with these moves if she is because i think let me read it let me see something three turn um two three two so she can infinitely cycle attacks and she even has another one with the dot so you can have um bleed and burn on everyone if you do all of your attacks and you can have double damage for your best attack which it kind of sucks because this um sliced skulls is your best attack you'd want to do like double damage then do this but hey that's just the way she was designed and yeah not too much more i can say on a rank one like a rank zero michonne i think just because she's so special i'm gonna do a video for each rank that i get her which is only really going to be up to rank 2. I doubt they're going to give you much more. But just to show you where, if you're watching this at the time, 2 days. In the past 2, they gave you 75 cells of her. So they're going to give you another 75. And, oh wait, but that's not enough to rank her up. So you're going to have to wait until the 4th dungeon is released just to get her to rank 1. But who knows, maybe this one gives you more stamina. I have a hit feeling that it's going to give you more stamina more stamina more cells since there's only two dungeons left and i don't think sp is that greedy to leave you at um like a hundred and like at only enough cells for rank one and not rank two although if you've seen the prices it takes to get daryl and like rick to rank five you might think otherwise because it's kind of a scam but yeah that's all i can say on her so that's the video i hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like comment i would love to hear your thoughts about her in the comments down below is she a better shivaka run because like even though she can't cycle infinitely and no she can't stack up the damage that shiv can i think she can cycle infinitely she has two dots and a double damage extra turn move that does damage when shivs is a setup with um precision so what do you think let me know in the comments down below if you think she is a better ship. That is about it. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you found it helpful. Hope you have a great day. Your favorite Omnius Crab, signing out.